Welcome. There is a question here we want to look at. It seems to have given very many uh, students a challenge. So it is a paper uh, per section two, paper two question. Maths. So it's, it reads Water flows through a circular pipe of cross section area 6.16 cm square at a uniform speed of 10 cm per second. At 6 a.m., water starts flowing through the pipe into an empty rectangular tank of base area 3 meters square. A. What is the depth of the water in the tank? 5 marks. So, so let us take it. So, so I, I want you to see the picture of here. There is a pipe whose cross section is 6.16 centimeters square. This pipe is putting water, or water is flowing into a rectangular tank. A rectangular tank. whose closed section area is 3 meters square. So, what is the depth of the tank? So, we want to know how deep the water could have flown from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. How deep? What, what volume of water must have gone with the height of water? That is what you are looking for. So first, we need to find the volume flowing into the tank into the tank per second. So volume, we can divide this into two. So first, let us calculate the volume of water flowing into the tank into the tank per second. That this one is given by cross section area of the pipe times the speed cross section area of the pipe times the speed which is 6.16 times the speed which is 10 yeah 10 centimeters and this one will give us 61.6 centimeters cube per second so water is flowing into this rectangular tank from this pipe at 61 or the volume is 61.6 centimeters cube in one second right ah uh, remember we have been told that the cross section of the tank the cross section of the tank is three meters square therefore remember this one is centimeters square so let us convert this volume into meters square and into meters cube Oh yeah, meters cube, and then we shall know what volume in a meters cube is flowing per second. You should know that one meter cube is equal to one million centimeters cube. One meter cube is equal, so we will ask sixty-one point six centimeters cube. Will it be what? So this one will give us zero point zero zero zero. 0.616 meters cube. So 0.000616 meters cube is flowing into the tank, rectangular tank per second. Right? Now we want to know what has started flowing at 6 6 what? 6 a.m. So the question is what will be the depth when time is 8 30 a.m. So from 6. So first let us get the time, the period here. So 8, 30 minus 6, it will give us two and a half hours. Right? So this water has thrown into the rectangular tank for two and a half hours. So, but we know that 
this 0.00616 is meters cube is the volume that is flowing per second so let us convert this time hour from hours into seconds we know that one hour is equal to 3600 seconds so we will ask 2.5 hours will it be what so 2.5 times 36 uh, this one will give us 9,000, 90,000. 2.5 times 3,600 will give us 9,000 seconds. 9,000, not 90. 9,000 seconds. But we know that one second, the water that is flowing into the rectangular tank is 0 0.000. Uh, 0.616 meters cube in one second. In one second, is, so we will ask 90, uh, 9,000 9, seconds will be, what will be the volume? Because after two and a half hours, this is the, the, the time in seconds. So what will be the volume? So the volume is 90,000, 900, 9,000 times 0 0.00. Zero. Zero, uh, zero, six, one, six, and this one will give us. So it will give us zero point five five four four meters cube. So this is the volume, which could have entered into that rectangular tank at eight by eight by eight thirty a.m. But we are asking it the depth. Remember the rectangular tank, like I did it here. This is how it looks like. Therefore, we want to see the depth. Right? So, so let us look at the depth. What would be the depth? But we know that volume, volume of a rectangular object is equal to area or base area, base area times height, which is we can call depth. Now, this volume is 5, is 0. 0.5544 which is equal to base area which is 3 times depth so for us to get the depth we divide by 3 both sides it means that the depth is equal to we divide by this one 3 it will give us 0 0.1848 meters or we convert this into centimeters it is 18 Point forty-eight centimeters centimeters so that is the depth or the height of the water by after two and a half hours at 8 a.m. you can see it was not a joke very good let us go to part B which has also five marks part B if the tank if the tank is 1.2 meters high and has a hole at the bottom through which water leaks at the rate of 1 or 11.6 centimeters per second, determine the time at which the tank will be filled. So first, let us get the total volume of the tank. So the total volume, we know that volume equal to base area times height and the volume here is the, the, the base area is 3 the height is 1.2 which is equal to 3.6 meters cube so the total volume that is required to fill this tank is 3.6 meters cube very good uh, the next thing now I want to see there is a leakage, there is a, a leak. This tank, which is 1.2 meters high, has a leak. So as water is getting in, some water is coming out. So the water that is getting in, we have the volume. So let us see water into the tank. Water in is equal to zero. The volume is 0, 0.0 per second, 0, 0.00. A zero six one six meters cube per se per second. 
right water out water which is leaking out equal to 11.6 centimeters cube per, se, per second so we convert this from centimeters cube to meters cube this one will give us 0 0.0000011 six meters cube per second right so now we want to see the amount of water that is retained this one is coming in this one is leaking out so what volume is left or is remaining in the tank that will make the tank full and after how long so we want to know after how how long at what time determine the time at which the tank will be filled. How long will the tank take? You can see some water is coming in, some water is getting out. So let us get now the water that is retained in the tank. How do you get that? It is 0 0.0000616 subtract the water that is getting out. 0 0.000116, uh, right? Uh, this one so the water that is retained into in the tank per minute the volume is 0 0.00005 meters cube in one second that is the water that is retained in the tank right very good so if one second water that is retained is 0 0.00005 meters cube we have the total volume we will ask 3.6 meters cube will it take how long so 3.6 meters cube will it take how long the time so it is 3.6 times 1 we divide it by 0 0.000 Zero 0.05 remember this is meters per cube meters cube so this one will cancel out so we will have in time in seconds so you place your calculator you use your calculator you will realize that it will give us 72 thousand seconds right so 72 thousand seconds it will take 72 thousand seconds for the tank to be filled so let us convert the 72 seconds into minutes and hours. So we know that 3,600 seconds is equal to one hour. So we will find out 72,000 seconds will be how many hours? 72,000 times 1, we divide it by 36. 0, 36, 0, million. So this one goes here 1, 2, 0. So it is 20 hours okay now we have 20 hours but remember the water started flowing at 6 a.m so we add the 20 hours plus 20 we will have 26 hours so what is this time that is to subtract from the 24 hours minus 24 it will give us two it means that the tank will be full at two a m the following day the following day so the tank will be full at 12 at 2 a m the following day uh, thank you very much if you have any question that is giving you help whether it is maths chemistry you are free to comment you can even screenshot the question and you send us. Thank you very much. Remember to subscribe.